So is silver just a Ponzi scheme? We can thank Atomic Wedgie 81 for this video. He's got the funniest username, but he's also a regular viewer and an insightful commenter on many of my videos. And he brought up a point. He said, is Bitcoin a Ponzi scheme? Is the social security system for that matter a Ponzi scheme? But in this video, what I wanna do, I wanna weigh crypto, Bitcoin, versus silver. Is silver just as much of a Ponzi scheme as Bitcoin is? If Bitcoin is indeed a Ponzi scheme, let's dig into this right now. I guess the first thing we can talk about is where are Bitcoins? Do you see any Bitcoins or any cryptos for that matter? I can't see them. Do you can you grab one? Is there a Bitcoin floating around? See if you can grab and hold on to a Bitcoin. Now, can we say that about gold? Can we say that about silver? Well, I don't know. Can we grab? Oh, oh, whoa, wow. Here, here's two 1921 Morgan silver dollars. You can actually hold silver in your hand. As a matter of fact, somebody held that very silver in their hand over 100 years ago, and it had value back then, which is very similar to the value that it has today. Each one of those will buy roughly a really nice meal. The next thing we can talk about is supply. How much supply of crypto and Bitcoin is there in the world? Now, I know Bitcoin is supposedly limited to X amount of Bitcoin, whatever. I don't understand all that. Nonetheless, we know that over the last 10 years, there were almost 20,000 cryptocurrencies created. How about silver? Well, over the last 10 years, there was silver, and then there was silver, and we know that silver is in the earth crust and above the ground if it's been mined, but that's all the silver there is. They've not come up with a way to reproduce it in a laboratory or replace it with some other new precious metal. Silver has been silver for, oh, 5,000 years. And most of the cryptocurrencies, if they've survived, haven't even been around for 5,000 days. And consider this, we know the LBMA, the London Bullion Market Association, and the COMEX in the United States, the big electronic unicorn fart dust exchanges for silver. We know they're corrupt. We know there's price manipulation. But gosh, they seem like church altar boys when you compare them to what goes on in the crypto world. Just look at this whole FTX fiasco. Let me know what you think about all this. But when I look at Bitcoin, it comes to mind that the only way it gets any value is if when somebody wants to sell it, somebody's willing to step up and take it off their hands. Now, could the same be said about silver? I think it could. However, silver is real. It has real, inherent, intrinsic value to it. And it's lasted a much, much longer time than any cryptocurrency has. Plus, it has uses in industry and has been used as money for thousands of years. And when it comes to silver, I think it's important for us to remember it has pretty much always been valuable and a big key point for us to remember everywhere regardless of whatever value or monetary scheme any regime had dreamed up with no matter what when you take this anywhere in the world almost any time in the last 5,000 years it has had value you can't say that about some imaginary uh, asset, something that's intangible like a Bitcoin. Now, again, I'm not a hater of Bitcoin, and maybe I'm just turning into an old man who doesn't want to embrace new technology. But to me, it seems like silver has many, many, many more real qualities to it when I compare that to what I see in the crypto universe. I think it's also very important for us to realize that silver for thousands of years 
has already fought off coordinated efforts to suppress its value by whatever regime may be in charge. There are people who firmly believe that the price is manipulated today, right now, and has been artificially suppressed for decades in a coordinated effort. I don't know that Bitcoin or any of the other cryptocurrencies can say that same thing. And what do you think about origin? We know where this came from. It came from Earth. It came from God. We know there's a limited supply. When it comes to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, it seems to be wrapped in mystery and intrigue in terms of who created them. And you've got people putting billions of dollars into them. I'm not a hater of Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency, and I wish everyone who invests in them all the best. However, to me, there's no comparison. If you want to compare the value and the stability of an asset, comparing precious metals to the cryptocurrency world, I don't see that there's much of a fight. My money will stick with the precious metals. I could be wrong. Don't make any financial decisions based upon what I'm telling you. But please come back to Ron's basement. You know you're always welcome here. I'm going to see you next time.